So today we'll discuss step response. Okay. First we will discuss RC circuit and then RL circuit. Okay. So step response of a RC circuit. Now, what do you mean by a step response of a RC circuit? So, so far what we have done, we did, we saw the a source free circuit. Okay. So in the beginning there was source and we have removed the source and then capacitor get discharged through the resistance and we have calculated uh, voltage in time T okay, across the resistance or across capacitor. Now the situation is different. Now what will happen now you will be having a initial voltage. Okay. Say you have an initial voltage, uh, say V naught. Okay. Now, now your circuit is not source free. Circuit is not source free means now what will happen? Now your capacitor will, ch will charge up to the final voltage. Okay. So now it will charge up to a final voltage. That means uh, last circuit, there will be some final voltage on the capacitor with, with time. Now it may be also possible that your initial voltage may be given zero. In that case, what will happen? You will have a only final voltage. Okay. So your initial voltage at T is equal to zero, maybe zero. And at T is equal to infinite. Okay. You'll get a final voltage that is called V infinite. Now for these kind of circuit, okay. okay you can now in between these two limit. Okay. T is equal to zero to T is equal to T. What is the voltage? Okay. Or from T to zero to T, T is equal to T. What is the voltage? Of course, the final voltage is V infinite. And at T is equal to zero, the voltage is V zero. So initial voltage V zero, final voltage V infinite. In between two limit, what is the value of voltage? That can be written by the equation V T. Yes. So that can be written. Hmm. Will be charged up to some finite voltage, na? Which is sources. So why we are taking it as V infinite? V infinite ka matlab at t is equal to infinite time. V infinite means we are not taking infinite. Okay, we are taking some final voltage. Okay, okay. You, you you call it final voltage or you can call it at t is equal to infinite. So in those those case, we can write the the expression can be given. Okay by V naught. Okay. This is V naught minus V infinite. Okay. E power T upon tau. Now you can check this equation. If T is equal to zero, if T is equal to zero. Okay. If I put T is equal to zero here, this become one. And if I solve this, solve this one V T, what will I, I will get? I'll get V infinite plus V naught minus V infinite that will cancel out. So you get V T equals to V naught or V zero. This T is equal to zero. Now V zero may be zero. In that case, it will be zero. Okay. Now similarly in this equation, if I put T is equal to infinite. Okay. If I put T is equals to infinite, then this term whole term will become zero. And and you get y v at t infinite is equals to your v infinite. That means your capacitor will get charged up to final voltage. So both the uh, limits you can check this equation, this equation. Now this equation is general equation. General equation in the sense that you can apply any circuit. Okay, any circuit means if you have a circuit made of R and C. Okay, and so the, and so you immediately you can apply equation. This give you Correct answer. Now this is uh, applicable to source free circuit also. So what do you mean by source free circuit? So if I say source free circuit, so in source free circuit, in source free circuit, okay, we have V infinite is equal to zero, isn't it? If there is source is not there, then whatever voltage is there, okay, that voltage will Will decay time and finally it becomes zero. 
source free circuit. So if I put V infinite zero in this equation, okay, that will give me what? That will give me same solution what we have done for source free circuit. So if I have <coughs> put V infinite zero here, so what I'll get? I'll get V at T is equal to V at T, okay, V infinite zero. So you get V zero, okay, E power minus T by tau. So it's the same equation what we have derived for source free circuit. Okay. So these circuits are very easy, like we are doing. Okay. So uh, source free circuits. Similarly, we have to solve this one. This time only difference is there that at the final circuit, you will be having some initial voltage and the final circuit, there will be some other battery and that will charge up to that, that will charge your capacitor. So key finding. Okay. So what are the key techniques to solve these kind of circuits? Okay. So what is key, key finding? Number one, you need to find what is V zero. Okay. At T is equal to zero time. Okay. Once you know this thing, then you try to calculate V infinite. Okay. And once you know V infinite and the final circuit, okay, where V this source is there, then you have to find the star. So the star is a time constant. Okay. RC of of final circuit. Okay. <coughs> Let me give you a question. You are not sending home homeworks. Okay. So I may have to take one more class for your homework because homeworks are important. If you're not doing, then I have to solve some problems. Okay. So say I have a circuit plus minus 24 volt. Okay. And here we have a, a resistance three kilo ohm. Then we have here a five kilo ohm resistance. Okay. And then here we have a, a capacitor. Now this type of questions once came in exam also, a step response of RC circuit. Then this is your four kilo. Okay. And then you have this plus minus 30 volt. Okay. Now at T is equal to zero time, we are moving this key from this point to this point. Okay. Now we need to find, okay. We need to find V, uh, v at a time T. Okay. So any time T we need to find. So find determine VT. Determine VT for any time T greater than zero. So do it. How, how we'll do. So in order to do these questions. Okay. So this circuit is not in the picture in the beginning this is disconnected. So you have to see only this circuit. Now this circuit is how much voltage is giving here. So first of all, we have to we need to open this circuit and the voltage across this source is equal to the voltage across this five kilo resistance. Okay. So immediately I can know my VC is what? 24 volts. Okay. These two are register and series. Okay. So I can write what? 8 kilo ohm into 5 kilo ohm across 5 kilo ohm. Okay. So this cancel. So this become 1, this become 3. Sir, initially to book will go to sir 4 kilo ohm me jayega na current. So t is equal to g, t, this is this is before t is equal to zero. This is before t is equal to zero. Okay. Oh, okay, t is equal to zero. So close karna. We are closing. Okay. okay now, sir. so this is now VC. Okay. Okay. You can say at t less than zero time it is VC zero minus, and this will be same like a VC at time zero, and this will be same like a VC 
as zero plus time. Okay, this will, this will be maintained because capacitor voltage cannot change suddenly. Now, once you know your VC is 15 volt, okay. Now the next thing is find V n pi night. Okay. Now what we'll do now this circuit is will be disconnected. Okay. Now we have only this circuit. Okay. Now we have to connect this circuit at T is equal to zero time. So at T is equal to zero, we have connected this one. Okay. Now I want what is VC now again? V final will be final. So VC final. Okay. So I can say that VC at time infinite. Okay. That will be equals to now this, this capacitor will charge up to the 30 volts. If you, if you make open this one. Okay. So the voltage across this will be 30 volts because no current will flow. So now VC final will be your 30 volts. Okay. Now, you know, we see everything. Now you want to know what is your tau? Tau is R equivalent. C and R equivalent kitna hai. If I in want to the, there, no. so just between the, the between the uh, across the capacitor, if you want to the R equivalent or R thevenian, you have to make this short, isn't it? So your resistance will be only what your resistance will be capacitor across the capacitor. Your resistance will be only four kilo. Okay, so R will be your four kilo and C value should be given in the question and C value is 0 0.5 millifarad is given. Okay. So 0 0.5 millifarad is given. So I can find my tau. Tau is what? R equivalent 4 into 10 to the power 3 and your C is 0 0.5 millifarad. 10 to the power minus 3 cancel. This tau is Two seconds. Okay. <coughs> now we have to apply the final equation. Final equation says your VT any time T greater than zero. Okay. And before T infinite, VT is what is the formula? V infinite 30 volts plus V zero. 15 minus 13 e power minus t t upon tau t upon 2 2 seconds okay so this is your formula okay so vt equals to 30 plus this we can be solved this we can be solve this one okay so if we, if we solve this one 30 minus 15 e power 0. 0.5 T V. This should be the final answer. Exactly. Uh, we V infinite 30 volt कैसे लिया? बीच में resistor है ना तो पूरा voltage capacitor को कैसे जाएगा? वो drop वही तो नहीं होता ना? अभी जब capacitor charge होता है, हमने इसको open मार लिया ना? जब open मार लिया तो current flow नहीं कर रहा है. Current flow नहीं कर रहा तो यार drop ही नहीं हो रहा है. ठीक है और ऐसा क्यों मानते हैं क्योंकि कैपेसिटर चार्ज होता है कैपेसिटर चार्ज हो रहा है कंटिन्यू चार्ज हो रहा है चार्ज हो रहा है चार्ज हो रहा है चार्ज हो रहा है एंड इट विल गो अप टू चार्ज अप टू 30 वोल्ट्स वंस दिस इज चार्ज अप टू 30 वोल्ट आफ्टर दैट देयर विल बी नो करंट फ्लोइंग इन द सर्किट दैट मींस वी कैन अज्यूम दैट दिस इज ओपन ओके ठीक है अब दिस इज 30 वोल्ट्स नाउ कैपेसिटर बिकम 1 2 3 4 5 अप टू 30 वंस दिस इज आल्सो 30 बट दिस इज आल्सो बैटरी दिस इज आल्सो बैटरी बोथ आर सेम बोथ आर इक्वल Okay, so there will be no current flowing. That means we can assume here capacitor is an open circuit as final stage. Now this is our equation. Okay, now you can check also here if you want to solve this uh, equation. If you apply KVL here, can you apply KVL here? Okay, can you apply KVL here? So. What you can write if you apply KVL here? Anybody? Minus VC okay. plus I into four. Minus 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 VC plus four I plus thirty equals to zero. 
okay and i, I is what i is what here i is here capacitor current okay because this current is passing through capacitor so you can write vc plus i i is what c dv by dt plus 30 equals to 0 now vc you know uh, uh, vc value okay now you can put dv by dt value from here in these equations okay if you put dv by dt value here in this equation okay you can check whether this equation is satisfied or not satisfied okay this is homework you try it okay so whatever v vt this is v this is basically vct okay vct this is vct and this is vct divided by t are you getting my point this is vct any time suppose the voltage is here vt i i can this flowing circuit is 30 volts now if in this equation this equation if you put this here okay we see value and, and and derive this equation should satisfy check it whether it is satisfied or not so if i enter in vc this become minus 30 okay minus 15 e power minus 0 0.5 t okay and plus 4 i 4 c c is 0 0.0, 0 0.0 millifarad okay dv dv by dt differentiate this one if you differentiate this one this one this give you minus 15 e power minus 0 0.5 t okay and again minus minus plus 0 0.5 t plus 30 now if you solve this one this should come zero okay so i'm giving you home. Minus 30 will cancel huh plus 30 minus 30 will cancel okay okay yes very good then anything else anything else cancelling pc it is to have now plus... this become our 60 60 this becomes 60 and 0 0.5 30 15 15 again from 15 okay and 15 and this 15 they should cancel only the thing is this uh, uh four four i uh c dvdt okay so i have written here uh, c value is point so, yes so it's minus pc now so plus 15 e raised to 0 0.5 t again minus 30 plus 15 okay. ये ये तो हो गया ये ये प्लस आ रहा है ना और मल्टीप्लिकेशन मल्टीप्लिकेशन में ये भी था माइनस वीसी है ना तो माइनस थर्टी प्लस फिफ्टीन होगा ना ये ये वाला यस सर ये तो माइनस ये तो पावर भी था यहाँ पर पावर भी था ये वीसीटी के वीसीटी पूरा ये रखा है अच्छा तो आप आप बोल रहे प्लस होगा वेरी गुड then four okay four i c dvdt millifarad okay c now dv by dt dv is minus minus plus plus or some something mistake is there okay we check it it should come zero and because the discharging current okay sorry this is discharging current so this should come minus here this is discharging current na? so c v dvdt this for charging current, how to write? If I assume in current like this, mm, minus V C, okay. Sir. And plus, huh? Sir, the formula tha V T ka usme V infinite plus tha ya minus tha? Ye formula to minus tha. No, no, sir. The first wala hai na plus thirty plus hoga ya fir minus? Plus, plus tha, plus tha. Thirty. Let let me check. This, uh, plus beta plus v not v infinite plus okay. okay so this this should satisfy it okay you, you check it okay one time this this answer is correct, answer is correct here answer is given same what i'm seeing here okay and should satisfy 30 minus 15 okay correct now let me solve one more problem Similar, similar type of problem. Okay. 
I have been given this 15 volt source. Okay. And this should have a two ohm. Here I should have a one farad. Okay. And then you have this. Now battery is turned. Okay. Just check. This becomes 7.5. And this becomes six ohm. Now, please solve it and tell me what is coming. <laughs> Sir, as previous, na, at the time, P is equal to zero, key is closed, and before key is open. Catch it? Uh, as previous, na, at time, uh -huh. P is closed. So, and... so, so this time, they said P is equal to zero, you're closing this. Yes. Before that is open. Okay, find out what is coming. Now the formula what we are writing here, okay, that is what V at time T is we are writing V infinite, okay, minus plus V naught minus V infinite, okay, E power minus T upon tau. So if if this is not zero, okay, if it is say some T zero, some T zero, then this equation will modify like T minus T zero upon tau. Okay. Is now it is T equal to zero, but there's a possibility T may not be zero sometime. It may one second, two second, three second. Then you have to put here be T zero. Okay. And here you minus T zero. That's it. You have to remember. So what is the answer coming? Final answer coming. Let me solve. Okay. So we are closing. So initially, this is not there. So only this is there. Okay. So we will make open. All the 15 volts should come here. Okay. So of course, my VC. Okay. VC at T is equal to just T less than zero time. Okay. Should be 15 volt. Okay. So this will, be, this will be maintained. So I can say VC at T is equal to zero is 15 volt. Now I'm removing this circuit. I'm closing this circuit. Okay. Now I'm closing the circuit. Now both the sources are there. Now we are not removing any, this question. We are removing any circuit. We are just closing this one. So now the, both the sources are picture. So now you have to find out the voltage because of these two sources. So what you can do do now you can apply source transformation okay you can apply source transformation so this is 6 ohm okay this is my 6 ohm resistance and if you calculate now okay first of this this source so because of this, this source how much it will come it will come okay if you open then these two are in series okay isn't it so so now current, no current is flowing here in the beginning. If no current is flowing here, I can find my I. So I will be 15 upon eight ohm. Okay. And if I want uh, VC, VC due to this source. Okay. Due to 15 volt source. So this due to 15 volt, due to 15 volt. 
okay to 215 volt source then this will come 5 by 8 into 6 so this become 3 4 okay that is become how much 45 divided by 4 now similarly if i remove this source i short this source okay and i put this source which has a opposite polarity minus plus what is the value 7.5 okay 7.5 now this was charging like this okay this will charge like this okay so if i if so what will what it voltage will give so this become plus this become minus so this time you get same thing uh, current is so you have 7.5 so vc due to 7.5 volt source okay you have 7.5 8 volts okay now this time it is because of 2 2, two. so this is 1 this is 4 okay so this is 7.54 but sign should be negative okay so the final final will be final vc okay at infinite will be your 45 divided by 4 minus 7.5 divided by 4 so this should come 4 okay now how much will come if you divide 45 38 38.5 or 30, 37.5 37.5.5 38 45 so it's coming 37.5 okay and if you further solve it should come how much 9 9.36 okay tell me it's coming 9.375 check it yes so now if i want to write the final value sir ah uh, Sir, एक छोटा सा चीज नहीं समझ में आया सर इसमें 7.5 by 8 किया तो current निकला फिर into हाँ. 2 किया तो into 2 या into 6 करने ये कैसे पता इस, 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 इसके across है ना parallel ना yes sir ये resistance पे oh, <laughs> तो इस पे तो इस पे आएगा वो इस पे आएगा okay अच्छा, so the formula is now what formula you write 9.375 okay plus you have V naught V not kitna tha? 15? V not kitna tha? 15 would. 15 minus now 9.375. Okay. E power minus T upon tau. Now tau, you have to remember, tau is R equivalent C. R equivalent C. And your R equivalent is what? In this circuit, R equivalent, both are parallel. So your R equivalent is two into six upon eight one four. Okay. So this is three by two. Okay. So if I write the equation, so I can write here E power minus T three by two. Okay. So two by three. So my answer should come. 9.375 plus 5 so, minus tau, 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 tau to 1 by 2 hai. 1 by 2 kaise? if you make this short circuit sir, rc calc multiply kaha kara huh? sir only bas r equivalent nikala cb to karenge 1 by ah, cb very good cb cb kanta hai very good so c kya hai uh, r equivalent c c is 1 by 3 1 by 2 okay so 1 by 2 is 2 come very good Okay, so now 9.37. You get 15 minus 9.3 is you get You know, 5.6 something 5.625. Are you 5.625 e power minus 2t? Oh, yeah, answer there. So 6254. Are you going 5.625? You have to answer correct. Okay. Now, if you ask you find voltage at any time t, so t may be given one second, two second, three second. You can put value here, t value here, and you can find VC. Like if I say find t equals to zero point five second. Okay. So in this particular question, they have given the value is eleven point four four volt. So your VCT 
T is equal to 0 0.5 volt is 11.445 volts. So you can calculate voltage at any time T. So SI question in exam may be aaya tha. Similar type of question aaya tha. But source dono same the. Is me is me ulta is me ulta hai. So source ka direction bhi aarakna hai. You have to remember source direction also. Okay. सोर्स की डायरेक्शन में हमारा डिफरेंस मतलब कहां पे इफेक्ट करेगा कैपेसिटर का फाइनल वोल्टेज पे ना जो तो यहां पे सोर्स था वो इसको ऐसे चार्ज कर रहा है ठीक है और यहां वाला सोर्स उसको ऐसे चार्ज कर रहा है तो फाइनल चार्ज तो कम आएगा ना अगर दोनों एक ही साइन चार्ज तो ऐड ऐड हो जाता नाउ दोनों बोथ आर चार्जिंग वन एंड दे आर चार्जिंग इन डिफरेंट ऑपोजिट डायरेक्शंस दैट्स व्हाई द Voltage reduced. Both sources are in opposite direction. So I think I need to take one more class uh, for problems of related to this topic. Okay. So let me first finish this one. Then we'll see what we can do because students are not sending me homework. So I need to solve at least five to six problems. Okay. Now we have to. See step response of RL circuit. Okay. So RL circuit instead of voltage, you will be having current. The same method is there. If you want IT, okay. So this will be same like I infinite. Okay. I infinite plus I zero minus I infinite. Okay. And E power minus T by tau. The equation equation will be same methodology. Methodology is also same. You have to need to find I zero, I zero or T zero, whatever. Okay. It may be I zero, I T zero, anything or T zero may be zero. Okay. And then you have to find I infinite and then you need to find tau L by R. Let us solve one problem. So I have been given one circuit here, say plus minus 10 volt. Okay. And then I have this two ohm. Then I have this three ohm. Okay. And here one inductor is there. Okay. That is one by three H. Okay. And here this they are saying that you are opening this you're opening at t is equal to zero at t is equal to zero you're opening and before that it was close okay before that was close so t zero opening so I, so when it was close that means this was short, isn't it? Okay. So when you apply 10 volt, okay. So 10 volt current currently 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 flowing. Okay. At I is equal to I. So we can write at T less than zero time. My I okay. At T is equal to zero time will be what current flow current flow here and it will go here if it is close and then it will come here. So this becomes short circuit. Okay. So this becomes short circuit for DC current. So current will be only what 10 upon 2 volts that is 5 ampere, isn't it? In the beginning current will be only 5 ampere because it's an inductor, it becomes short. 
Now, second case, you need to calculate I T infinite. That should be 10 by 5 now. 2 and 3 are in series. Are, Baba, this short circuit is closed here. This is closed, right? Initially, it is closed. This is because oh, short circuit. Okay. okay. Now, when you're opening, opening, that means the circuit becomes open. Now, this is a 5. Okay. Again, current will flow. So, current will become about 10 upon 5 ohm. That is 2 ampere. Okay. And now you want to find what is the resistance across this inductor. Okay. So that will be, if you make this, make this as a short circuit. Okay. So you can say five, five ohm is across the inductor. Okay. So you can write tau L by R and or L ki value kitu diti one by three Henry. So L is one by three Henry. Okay. One by three Henry and you have five ohm. Okay, 5 ohm this by 1 upon 15 second. Okay, so I can simply write my I T is equals to I infinite 2 ampere plus I 0 5 minus 2 2 e power minus 15 T ampere. So this should come I T equals to 2 plus 3 e power minus 15. T ampere. Let me check the answer. So it's coming 2 plus 3 2 plus 3 power minus 15 T. Okay, correct answer here. Okay. So now we have here a inductor. Okay, inductor of 1 by 3. Okay, here we are having source. Okay, source is plus minus 10 volt. Okay. Now let me check again this why it's not applying here. Okay. If I write the current here, I can write 5i. If I current is flowing here, 5i. Okay. And then if I write L di by dt voltage across this one, L di by dt equal to 10. Okay. Now if I put it, this is it value here, this it. Okay. If I put the it value here. So this is five it okay it means two plus two plus three power e power minus 15 t okay and what is the l value l value is one by three and if i put di by dt okay so if i put di by dt this comes three minus three three and minus 15 minus 15 and e power minus 15 t okay it should cancel okay so this is 10 okay and now if you solve this one this come 10 plus 15 e power minus 15 t okay and this comes plus 3 3 cancel and this become minus and minus e power minus 15 t okay so this cancels this also comes some 10 okay so whatever you get equations here okay now, when you differential equation, if, if, if you if you can write directly differential equation, okay. Suppose this circuit is given to you, and if you can if you can write this differential equation, okay, the solution of this equation will be this one. So that's why this equation is satisfying this differential equation. So I told you in the beginning, whenever you have RC circuit, instead of instead of algebraic equations, you got differential equations, okay. So that's it. Okay. So this was your step response of RL circuit. Okay. Let me solve one more problem and then we'll finish this chapter and Mr. Tomorrow will start semiconductor. Okay, now you need to do this problem. Okay, I'll wait for you to finish this problem. So you have this resistance. Okay, you have this. You have this 15 Henry. Okay, you have this 10 ohm. 
and this is you have six ampere source and they say it t is equal to zero you are opening okay it is equal to zero you are opening opening or closing opening okay this is your opening it t is equal to zero you are opening this is opening and this is five ohm calculate the current and tell me the answer but it should not take more than five minutes so only so far this was a question i had but i thought to cover that ever we have a little bit idea of uh, inductor and capacitors then whenever it will come when we use opam then we will have a deal solid now i'm writing the answer you know tell me what is it is correct or wrong okay 4 plus 4 plus 2 e power minus 10t Minus ten t, okay. For t all greater than zero, this should be my value of five t. Okay. So this is homework. You have to send me after class. The answer will be given. I have to. Now, कल से हम स्टार्ट करेंगे सेमी कनेक्टर नाउ लेट मी नो अभी तुमको नेटवर्क एनालिसिस में कोई इशू आ रहा है क्या आंसर आंसर अभी अभी क्या लिखा अगर इन नेटवर्क एनालिसिस ओके लेट मी नो आई कैन टेक अ डाउट क्लास एंड इफ यू आर होमवर्क वी कैन वी कैन सॉल्व वट एवर होमवर्क आई गिवन एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट मोर प्रॉब्लम प्लीज लेट मी नो Sir, please send some more problems. To okay. With with answer or without answer. Sir, uh, first we try, then uh, please send the answer and okay. check. Okay. Okay, sir. <coughs> so. So now the question is there. You have been given. A RC circuit, okay, plus minus V R, okay. This I can explain. Okay, so V is given as ten e power minus forty, and current is given as zero point two e power minus forty A at T is greater than zero time. Okay, both T is equal to greater than zero time. So question is asking a find R and C value. B determine time constant. Okay, number C calculate VCT. Okay, VCT VCT. T at T is equal to zero or VCT. How do I write VC? Okay, VCT. VCT is equal to zero, and then says D obtain obtain the time it takes it takes. to dissipate to dissipate dissipate to dissipate 50% of its initial energy okay so how much time it will take to dissipate 50% of its initial energy 
it is question number one okay what is that a i is equal to 0 0.2 into to hmm? what is a G 0 0.2 i is 0 0.2 e the power minus 0 0.2 this is 10 e power minus 4 40 4 40 yes Now, one more question is there where you have a inductor. Okay. And here, I'm erasing this one. Okay. Last option, Dikmira. Last option. Dik. Obtain the time it takes to dissipate. Obtain the time it takes to dissipate 50% of its initial energy. 50% of its initial energy. Now, this question is good. Okay, you please must try. This in those question, what I'm giving you, okay, I'm giving you Vt at e power minus 10 cube t v t greater than zero vt value is given and i am giving you it value okay asan question hai, but you try some of this part okay 10 cube t b t greater than zero okay the so number one question is find r l tau and the next question the next question is B part, which says calculate the energy, calculate the energy, calculate the energy dissipated, dissipated, dissipated in the resistance, in the resistance. Okay, from zero to T, zero point five millisecond. Okay, so in this interval, how much energy will dissipate in register? You need to calculate. I already gave you the formula in first class. Okay. Now let me know if any doubt is there. Okay. If no doubt, then I can end this meeting. Okay. So I'll try today or tomorrow. I'll try to send some problems, more problems. Okay. But you can see it. Okay. I'm ending meeting. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Sir.